Hey, so I know we already aimed about this last night, but I just wanted to double check we're on for today. Okay, perfect. So I'm thinking after school we take my car, Woodfield Mall, we do Hot Topic, just because I want to see if they have the new Tokyo Hotel t-shirts. We try on some lipstick at MAC. Um, I need to stop by Bath & Body because I'm um, out of warm vanilla sugar, my body spray. And then I'm thinking we go to Victoria's Secret and like get a thong, but bring a bag that's big enough so that you can hide it from your mom when you take it home. Okay, cool. And then we'll end the night with broccoli cheddar bread bowls at Panera. Okay. Perfect. Well, I have to go to Spanish, but I'll see you after class. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Gabriella. I make videos about self-care, fragrance, astrology, life in LA, actor life. I do vlogs and basically whatever else I feel like talking about. So if that sounds like your jam, please stick around and subscribe. Today's video is something I have wanted to do for so long and I finally sat down and did it. It is how I used to do my makeup in high school. Oh, high school, what a good time. Honestly, I'm, I feel like I'm one of the few people that had a really pleasant experience in high school. And when I tell people I went to an all girls Catholic boarding school, they're like, what did you do to get sent there? And I'm like, I begged to go there. It was heaven for me. And so I look back with a lot of fondness on those years. And also those were years where I was finding out who I was. I was playing, out, playing around with makeup and experimenting and the music I listened to and the art I consumed and the way that I dressed and did my makeup, that was my identity. It was so much to me. I feel like because in high school, you know, that's your whole life, school and family. You have to find ways to be individual. You're not old enough yet to, to travel and take a trip by yourself or to go have a wild night at a bar and I don't know, you know, you have to find your ways to express yourself. So. I'm giving that speech is very much with the kids in America. Oh, I'm like, I know how it feels to be a kid But yeah class of 2012 honey coming through so I tried to dress the part. I loved band shirts I wore only silver jewelry. So I'm wearing my class ring class of 2012 and my gold uh, my silver chain I got my hair pinned straight and We are just gonna chat and walk through how I used to do my makeup in high school and this is a, a, almost as accurate as it's ever gonna get I'm a little bit shocked leave some comments down below about little trends and things that you used to do in high school whether it's perfumes that you used to wear hair that you had or wanted to have makeup self tanning the Jurgens thing was real also the 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 Uggs that were just destroyed from from ice and sleet and salt if you lived in a place that snowed, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and I am very, very lucky that I have over 11 years of footage of myself on this channel. Fun fact, I used to go by Little Miss Glitter and I think my opening was, hey guys, it's me, Little Miss Glitter. So yeah, that was my first username as a, a little tiny YouTuber when I started my channel when I was 14. So I have looked into a lot of my old videos to make sure that this is accurate that this is period accurate, and it is. So let's jump in, hope you enjoy it, let's have some fun. Okay, let's get started. So I have straightened my hair to the pin straight texture that I used to wear it in high school. I used to straighten it every day, and then I would flip it like this. And it was pretty much this color, because I lived in Chicago, so it was never lightened by the sun, and my skin was so, so pale. So this is pretty much Pretty much uh, right on, except for my gold jewelry. I'm not gonna take it out because I like it. But I put on a silver, this is from Banana Republic. Oh, I need to cover my gold. A silver chain, and this is my class ring, actually. Class of 2012. I went to Woodlands Academy of the Sacred Heart. It was an all-girls Catholic boarding school in Lake Forest, Illinois. Best experience ever, loved it. And I am wearing this vintage Rod Stewart t-shirt. This is totally something I would have worn in high school because I wanted to be the music kid, the artsy kid, the, the edgy one. But I wasn't really edgy, I was a good girl. But I wanted to look kind of edgy. So I wore only silver, hated gold jewelry. Now I regret getting my class ring. This is white gold, I think. But I wish I would have gotten the regular gold signet ring. But back in the day I was like, that's hideous. And now I'm obsessed with it, so. But yeah, we've got the foundation of my high school persona 
started. Also, if you hear buzzing in the back, the heater's on. I would turn it off, but it is very cold in here. So, we're gonna start with a primer, because I'm pretty sure I used primer. I have, and obviously my products are gonna be different because I struggle with fungal acne. I can't really play around with most makeup products anymore. They make me break out, but the, the same look, we're going for the same effect. So this is e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer, and I'm pretty sure, what primer did I used to use? I think I would like take my mom's Benefit Professional, which is very similar to this. So, did I put it all over? I'm just gonna put it wherever I get shiny because I loved a matte look. My friend Aubrey kind of inspired me to make this video because I love these videos, but she was, I guess, watching my old makeup videos the other day and was like, oh my gosh, we used to wear makeup the same in high school, like so matte. I was recently watching some of my older videos and I uh, put on foundation with an actual foundation brush. Beauty blenders, I believe, were not in existence back then. And I loved a matte, matte, matte look. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. My color is 145. I believe this is an olive one. And I did use foundation with quite a yellow warm base because I thought that I was warm. And now I realize I'm more neutral leaning towards cool, if anything. But this has a good amount of yellow in it. Yellow green, because it's olive, so. And in the video, I said, do different different directions of brush strokes so that you don't see the, the lines of your foundation or something. I was giving tips, which I love. Like, yes, I better be 16 years old giving people tips. <laughs> but tech, I really did know a lot about makeup back then. I used to spend all my allowance at MAC though. Oh my goodness. Like, all of it. I was obsessed with MAC. I was one of those people that whenever they had a new um, collection come out, I was on top of it. I knew every single color. I was prepared for every single release that MAC did. Like I would go in there, didn't they have a global, I don't know, I, I, literally every collection from like 2009 to 2012, I was on top of. They had the vil Venomous Villains collection, the Disney, that Disney Villains collection. They did uh, so many, so many. And I knew the colors before even, like I had a list of what I wanted to buy and I would just drop. For my age, oh my gosh. I'm like, Gabby, if you had just saved all that money that you spent at MAC, who knows where you'd be. <laughs> so this is actually, I feel like this looks better than, well, I my foundation didn't look too bad in high school, but always my whole life I've avoided my nose. Let me zoom in a little bit. So my whole life I have avoided putting foundation on my nose because it has always had freckles. So that has remained constant. And you know, I would say I do like a matte look. I feel like my bone structure, as weird as it sounds, is able to really shine through in a matte look, uh, especially because I'm someone who has textured skin. Super shiny stuff is just not very flattering. And um, yeah, I always liked matte because it made my skin look good. I haven't had good skin probably since I was 12. I'm just now getting there. Um, so I struggled with acne for a really, really long time. Obviously, I think about 14 years. Hopefully we're done with it, but we'll see. So the next thing is eyes. I know that on my eyes I used to use MAC Painterly Paint Pot. I don't have that anymore. So I'm going to use the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer in number three and just dot a little bit on my eyes to give the same effect. And that was like a, a light, uh, I think it was more pinky tone, wasn't it? Soft ochre was the yellowy one. Um, but everybody used it, it was this, I mean, if, you, if you're if you around my age, you probably know what it is, but if not, it was a, a paint pot, it was a cream eyeshadow pot that everybody used to use as a 
primer and as a way to kind of like get rid of the discoloration on your eyelids or something but luckily I think now it's pretty oh my god look how different my face looks I think it's pretty trendy or pretty common now to um, embrace you know that your eyelids are a different color I actually think it's kind of nice because it makes you look like you've got you know natural eyeshadow on so times have changed but back in the day it was all about getting rid of any evidence that it's an eyelid so there's that my eyebrows are pretty probably pretty similar to how they were in high school because um, I used to get them waxed regularly because uh, for from a young age I was made fun of for having dark hair on my arms uh, I was made fun of for having a mustache thick eyebrows so I have been doing the hair removal thing for a long time which kind of makes me low-key really sad but um, you know I've gotten over it but there's something called laser hair removal and we've had it so now I'm gonna take the Kat Von D shade and light palette and so I used to use NYX cottage cheese it sounds so gross the pencils the jumbo pencils that was a big big thing and it was basically a white color so the closest thing I have to a white white shadow is this from this shade and light palette and I saw in the video that I referenced that I put it here and it was very bright like it was like that probably even brighter than that to be honest yeah there we go that's what I'm talking about and then on the other side and I also used to put quite a bit under my brow y'all this is so crazy this is gonna be an insane throwback and yeah all of it was matte I think the only shimmery stuff I wore sometimes I wore shimmery eyeshadow because I know matte came out with a collection where it was a baked eyeshadow thing and it was four different colors it kind of looked that were like in quadrants in a circle I don't know how to explain it I think it was called patchwork or something anyway I had all of those and I loved those and those were kind of shimmery or they were like baked kind of metallic-y but otherwise it was all about the matte and then the lips were what what I usually got sparkly with okay yeah we're doing it so now uh, then I used to take a blending brush but it was like a small one so I'm gonna use this Urban Decay one this is old anyway and I used to use a lot of like gray and silver colors so first I'm gonna start with this it's like a taupey gray brown and I used to just put that in the crease so that's what I'm gonna do right now and I think I used to do the whole thing like a big stripe oh my gosh this is already taking me back you guys oh my god I'm sorry I know that this if you haven't been watching my channel for a long time this is probably just like oh she's just being nostalgic but y'all I like grew up on YouTube and oh my goodness and I used to wear makeup to school every day and everyone in my all-girls school was like why do you wear makeup who are you wearing that for and now what do they who do they text when they need makeup advice because I had four years of practice with no judgment from men or whatever they text me that's right also it was fun it was expression I, I had the best time like I loved it okay that's totally the look that I used to go for but then I definitely went for even cooler tones like let me find I need some some gray I definitely was not about the warm tones okay this is a gray another grayish brown I'm gonna take that and then I think I would I just made the crease darker and then I definitely used to put some dark right at the outer corner like that yeah but it yeah it really was not about blending that much like this was definitely 
the look and I was vaguely inspired by scene style if you know what like being seen is and the whole pop punk scene and all of that I definitely thought that that was so cool but I, I never really was full scene because remember they had like the raccoon eyes and also the raccoon hair like stripy oh my gosh tell me about your trends in high school that you like wore or that you always wanted to wear i always wanted that raccoon hair but we could not have um f like fake hair color at my school or unnatural hair color i guess oh my gosh and now i'm thinking of i'm not in love this is not my heart and back in high school i'm just gonna continue darkening it until i feel like it looks like how it used to look back in high school when i was on youtube oh my gosh i'm just gonna name drop for a second gg gorgeous and i were friends we used to aim all the time um me and uh andrea's andrea's choice am i crazy is that her name we always also used to AIM and we always tried to make plans to like meet up when I was in LA because I would go see my brother usually on my spring breaks but it never really happened I think one year we were even at IMATS at the same time but we just never met up but I love talking to her back in the day now if I'm not mistaken I don't think I put anything on the lower lashes because this is looking so accurate. Let me see if I can find a black liner. I don't even hardly wear black liner anymore, but I know that I used to. I was like the tight line queen. Before I do that, I will definitely line my upper lash line because that was the thing. This is taking me back. I feel like I look 18 again. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. And you know what? I'm going to add a little bit more black because there is a color from this palette that I would have loved. And this is the Venus 2 palette by Lime Crime. This color is called Boot and it's a shimmery black. So I just wanna add a little bit, little tiny bit to my outer corner because I, I used to love like dark gray or black with some sparkle. Just a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's taking me back. Okay. Ha! <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm really shook right now. All right, this is a MAC eyeliner pen, but I used to use the MAC gel paint pot with a literal tiny little eyeliner paint brush. Oh gosh. I don't think I did a, a wing, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was just like that. So, I think I definitely went all the way in. Now I start my liner at the middle if I do liner, but I think back then I went all the way. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It's seriously so crazy seeing myself with makeup like this. Okay, I know I was all about the matte bronzer, and no, I did not use concealer. As far as I remember, I did not. I know I had a stick concealer that I would use on some spots, but I think we're pretty much looking fine. I did not do under eye concealer or anything like that. Crazy, right? I must be really from the olden days. But this is a Huda Beauty bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. It's her Tantour, and it's in Fade. Fade. Fair. And I loved the Tokidoki bronzer back when there was a Tokidoki makeup collection. And I didn't really contour, I just used to put it, I used to sort of do the three motion. But I used to wear a lot of bronzer. <laughs> like maybe I looked dirty a little bit, looking back on it. Maybe I was looking a little bit like, all I want is a room somewhere. Well, that's not the right one. She wasn't really dirty, was she? I'm thinking of... Um, what's that song from Oliver? I was looking a little bit like Oliver Twist. I was also giving you chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chiru. Ah, uh, da da da. My bronze is too dark for you. Why am I becoming, is that Ringo? <laughs> 
Oh god. Okay, let me zoom you out a little bit so you can get the full effect. I'm not sure I put that much on my nose, so I'm just gonna keep it simple. I knew better than to not blend it down the neck, so I definitely blended it down the neck. But we're already looking, okay, so this is just about right though, because it was a little bit, this is pretty warm if you put a lot on, and that definitely was like an orangey sort of vibe. But now we need to powder because I was not about shine. This was not going to happen in my world. So I'm gonna powder with the Fenty, uh, the, yeah. The Fenty powder. The whole darn face. Matte flat is where it was at. Then I know I did use a little bit, I used a Paul and Joe tinted powder. So I'm gonna apply that. I don't know why. I also used to really love the, and I still do, but I can't use it anymore, the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I loved that, because I felt like it made me look like a doll, like so perfect. So I'm just taking this Alima Pure Powder Foundation and like giving myself more coverage. Why, I don't know, but, oh, this is so, this is so, this is crazy. This, this is really taking me back. Then I used to love the NYX blush in peach, and I also used to use a Paul and Joe deeper pink blush. So I'm gonna go with the Alima Pure Luminous Shimmer Blush in Lee. It's a pink, shimmery blush. Isn't it funny how, it's not so much the products that really need to change, except for gimmicky things, and now we have highlighter and all of that, but it's not so much the products that change. It's the application. Like, I, I didn't have to buy anything new for this. It's just about how you put it on. So I think I, I always, my whole life, I've put my blush up here. Because I don't have big apples in my cheeks. So I always knew to, to put it back on my face. I used to watch so many YouTube videos. So to be fair, I did know some stuff. When I put it on my nose, I don't know. Maybe I should chillax on that. Okay, now, uh, can I find that black liner? Okay, I don't think I can find a black eyeliner, so I'm gonna use the Lancome Le Crayon Cole in um, black coffee. So this is almost black. It's a very dark, very dark brown. So I definitely, I hope this works, I definitely tight lined the upper, upper lash line. And I feel like I did the bottom too. Maybe I did like the bottom outside. Yeah, like half of the way in. This is crazy. This is taking me, even just doing my liner like this, like how there's no wing and how it's making my eyes look so round. Like this is just taking me back to the good old days, dude. Okay, wow. Now all we need to do is, I think I always curled my lashes. I believe I did, so I'm gonna curl the lashes because I've always had straight lashes. Y'all, this is so crazy. I am so flat and matte. I'm not mad about it though. This isn't that bad. I mean, it definitely looks kind of dated, I guess. Or it just looks like I'm part of like some subculture that still, like I kind of, you know how there's some cool like edgy hairstylists that still do their makeup like this? I know that's so niche, but I know that there are, and they're really cool. Or like they have like sleeves and, they still do, like, I don't know. And maybe they're like in their mid 30s and they still do makeup like this. I don't know, I think it's really cool. So now I'm gonna use the Dior Show mascara. I think I definitely used the original Dior Show for a long time. All right, so I definitely used the original Dior Show mascara, which I have in a little sample size here, so I'm gonna use that. I also used to use the Tarina Tarantino. If you remember, she had a, a line at Sephora and I loved it. And what else? Um. There was another mascara that I used, but anyway, this is the Iconic Overcurl, which I don't, I think they probably only had one Dior show, or like two, maybe regular and waterproof back in my day, but technically I did use Dior. Can you believe how bougie in high school? Wow. Back when I didn't have any bills to pay, I couldn't even drive yet, so I didn't have to pay for gas. Oh my goodness. This is giving me really nice wispy lashes. I think this is giving me a little bit better of an effect than I probably had back then, but oh, I just got that all over my hand. Okay, 
but I'll take it. Yeah, I'm really not mad at this look. I mean, it definitely flatters my eye shape. It definitely makes them look bigger and like and rounder than they actually are and more more open for the most part. Like that I do love like a light matte inner corner, like a light matte lid and then dark ugh, I just think it makes eyes look so big. I look back at my videos and my voice was so high. Even my voice in early years in college was still high. It's so funny. And now I have this low voice. I don't know what happened. Okay. And I know I did the lower lashes. So we're definitely going to do that. I referenced a couple videos just to make sure I got the look right. And I said, I used to say in my videos that I want to, I want to look like a doll. So I always did the lower lashes because I liked because I liked looking like a doll, I guess. We're almost done. I never touched my eyebrows. They were always thick and I don't, they're not tinted. This is just one of the perks of having really dark, thick hair. Um, okay, so in one of these videos, I used a Trish McAvoy kind of shimmery lip, uh, lip liner sort of thing. It was a lip crayon, that's what it was. I don't think I actually used proper lip liner. So I'm looking, I'm looking for something similar. Oh, I know what I can use. Okay, yes. Yep, this is gonna give me just the look. Okay, this is the, oh, it looks very ugly and very scrappy, but this is the, uh, what brand is this? Maybelline Superstay 24 hour color or 24 color. And it's in 150 Timeless Toffee. So it's a really light shimmery. I mean, unless there was, didn't I have a lighter one in this or no? Oh yes, here we go. We're going even lighter. This one, same formula, but in the color Constant Toast. Okay, so yeah, it's very light and very almost like frosty. So I said in a video that I used to put, I just had a voice crack, take me back to high school. I used to put that shimmery pencil on my Cupid's bow and then down here. I'm just gonna do it everywhere because actually this is exactly, guys, I'm tripping out. I'm tripping out. <sighs> I don't think I really overlined. I think I was like adamantly against overlining. Then for a gloss, I, I had a NYX sort of peachy color that came in a pot. So instead of that, I have a couple options, I think. Oh, I am going to add on my lower lash line the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Eyeliner. This color is in Grind. I used to love this. I think I had it in... Here's what I'm going to do. I just got a blast from the pot blast from the past my brain is turning on and and taking us all the way back to high school i used to use a it was like a blue or a green sparkly eyeliner by urban decay so i'm gonna take this green eyeliner in the color junkie and i'm gonna do that right here i loved a colored liner on the bottom loved it i didn't even think my makeup was that dark but this is pretty dark i mean compared to what i do now this is really dark and then i'm gonna add the glitter liner right over it oh yes that's the look that's it oh my goodness oh wow okay yeah, then I used to wear a lot of lip gloss. So I'm just gonna take the Fenty because this reminds me of the NYX gloss pot that I had. I think it was in the color Okie Dokie Artichokey. So I keep touching my hair. I'm just not used to it being so, you gotta keep it like, it, it's hard to make it look good when it's so pin straight. We'll fix it later. So this is the original gloss bomb. 
and I'm just gonna put a lot on there. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, so here's a close up of the look. My matte flat face, my dark enticing sparkling eyes, my overly glossed lips. This is how I used to do my makeup in high school. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and going through this blast from the past with me. And honestly, I'm not mad at it. It's really not that bad. And I was good at makeup in high school. So it probably looked kind of like this, like it wasn't too bad, but this was it. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with me. I am just thinking of the Chicago suburbs and the wonderful upbringing I had there. I miss it y'all. I miss those days. Life was so simple. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I have gloss on my teeth. I'm wearing so much. Uh, and I will talk to you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.